Hi everybody, this is Antonio Nakichalpirevich from QueryStorm. In this video, I'll be talking about a new Copilot feature that I added to uh, QueryStorm just now. So let's see what it can do. So um, as many of you know, uh, in QueryStorm, you can just write uh, SQL queries that uh, work with Excel tables, uh, such as this one. So uh, this is just returning all of the rows from cities. But if we wanted to get a bit more fancy, we can uh, order by population, make it descending, and then let's say limit uh, ourselves to just the top three cities. So these are the top three most populous uh, cities of the world. And uh, this was very simple to do, but if we wanted to do something a bit more complicated, such as uh, returning the top three cities for, for each country, we'd need to get a, a bit more creative uh, with our SQL. And we could certainly do this with, uh, with SQL, but it might take us a while. Uh, so we need a ranking function, we might need a common table expression, and doing all of this uh, obviously takes a bit of time, unless you're uh, very proficient with, uh, with SQL. So let's see how we can use the new Copilot feature uh, here. So to use the Copilot feature, we can start off with a comment. And let's start with something very, very simple. So uh, top three cities. Uh, I'll just do that, press uh, Control Enter, and this invokes the Copilot. The Copilot generates code uh, for us. It encloses it uh, in between these two uh, comments. So if we run this now, we can get we basically get the same uh, the same um, results as before. If we make changes here uh, and rerun this again, it's just going to replace the code that it re uh, generated here in, in between these two uh, comments. And uh, if we now run this, we can see that okay, now we're getting the the, the top ten ones. Let's now see if we can use it to uh, get the top three cities of each country. So top three cities of each uh, country. Press Control Enter to invoke the Copilot. So uh, there we go. Let's uh, run this and see if it works. Um, use the join. Seems to be, seems to make sense. It's using a subquery um, here. Uh, we could optimize this. So this took 2.45 uh, seconds. We could optimize this by just putting this uh, subquery in a uh, common table expression. So let's ask it to do that. Use a common table expression. I'm just going to put CTE, and it's going to figure out that I mean common table expression. Um, Hopefully, let's see what it comes up with, and there it goes. It did come up with the common table expression, uh, this one, ranked cities, and now it is selecting from it, and, just, uh, and, and if we run this, um, this takes just 60 milliseconds and gives us the same, um, the same results. So uh, this has been just working with uh, Excel functions over here. Let's see if we can um, use this to uh, do something a bit more complicated with uh, external data. So I'm going to connect to an AdventureWorks database that I have um, for uh, testing purposes. And if I go open up this uh, tables node over here, I can see there are quite a few tables. Uh, if I wanted to, if I'm just interested in something, let's say the top selling products in a particular, uh, in a particular year, I have to go figure out where that data is in this, uh, in this schema. But if I'm using the, the co-pilot, I can just do something like this. Um, 10 top selling products of 2014, press uh, control enter to uh, invoke the uh, copilot. Okay, so here's what I generated. It's a uh, reading data from sales order detail, product, sales order header, uh, and uh, it's limiting uh, to the ones where the sale order header is in 2014. Let's execute this and see if it works. And sure enough, it seems to, uh, it seems to work. So uh, this is something that's very useful even for uh, seasoned uh, SQL professionals because parsing all of this, this would take a, take a long time to figure out. Um, but here we just get it from the co-pilot for, uh, in, in, in just a couple of seconds. So, and uh, the way this works is this, um, this prompt is being sent to the GPT API, but alongside this prompt, um, the entire schema of this, uh, this database uh, gets also sent as a system message to the GPT API. And that basically informs the GPT API, OK, this is the data structure. Uh, now tell me, um, how can I write the SQL that, that's going to give me something like this? This is kind of mind blowing that, that we can do this. It's actually quite scary, and we'll see if we developers still have a job in a couple of years. But yeah, um, but in the meantime, it's going to be a wild ride. Before wrapping up over here, I just wanted to let you know how to uh, configure this. So uh, once you install the new version of QueryStorm, you're going to have this feature enabled, but you still need to uh, configure it in order to use it. 
The way to configure it is to go click uh, settings over here, go to general settings, and uh, here you're going to have to paste your uh, GPT API key. The way to get an API key is fairly simple. You just go to platform.openai.com. Um, if you create an account, if you don't already have one, click your avatar, view API key here, um, and then uh, click this uh, create new um, secret key over here. Once you create it, uh, you can just paste it uh, and uh, copy it and then paste it into that box. I'll just uh, remove this, the one that I just created because I don't need it and uh, click OK and uh, that should be it. Once you do that, you should be able to, when you press Control Enter, you should be able to uh, use the new Copilot feature. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you in the next video that I make. Cheers, bye bye.